So how do students revise? They basically revise by a lot of different methods, either learnt response mechanisms, depending on the environments inside and outside school. It also depends, of course, on the time allocation, whether they have jobs, etc., um, depending on the age group you're looking at. Relatively speaking, though, they should be studying at least an equivalent amount of time for your subject inside school and outside school through either work, homework. The next slide shows the general revision techniques about remembering to reward yourself and to obviously study around the subject that can be revised, suggesting using real life examples, and this can be used obviously on a non science basis as well as a science basis, and to try and think of examples that back up your answers for exams. There's a suggestion also about keeping alert and changing revision methods and attending revision classes. This slide can be presented in school to assist with revision techniques for children. One of another favourites is revision cards using one topic per card. Basically you need to list ideas on the card for the topic and you can use these inside and outside school even while travelling to school on the bus for example. Remember teachers are there to answer questions. Uh, they're not there just to um, provide you with information, they can actually help you if you have a query. Course notes are a valuable source of extra help as well. Some Again, a further summarisation about diagrams, sometimes called mind maps or spider diagrams or other names for them. The use of mnemonics, which are rhymes of word lists, um, can be useful as well. Always remember, of course, if you're studying with somebody, then you're not meeting them just to have a chat. You actually courses always have revision books. Guided questions generally are in there or you can also get workbooks which are useful to work, go through. Check if you're understanding with teachers if you're uncertain about any of the answers that are given. Another suggestion instead of friends is to use your parents or guardians to talk things over with somebody. It may highlight some areas that you may not have thought of, in so, especially in certain types of humanities rather than science. Another suggestion for Diagrammatical forms is writing pros and cons for charts and having these displayed on your wall. Past paper exam questions, they're a very good format for testing your knowledge in respect of exam format so you know at the end of the day what type of question is going to be asked and looking at the mark schemes which are available on the internet or what type of answer they're expecting. If you find there's a question that is difficult to answer then obviously you need to know, go back and have a look at that section. It's not much good looking at the questions before you've done your revision, they should be, a, should be in supplement to an addition rather than instead of. Also make sure you do them through timed practice. Basically the exam paper is going to be set for a period of time. Don't exceed that. You'll know then what areas you need to cover in more detail to ensure you maximize your marks. Post-it notes um, around the house are a very good idea. Remember we mentioned mnemonics earlier on should be lucky enough to have your own textbooks and or revision books you can use highlighter pens in order to highlight key points or words that need to be remembered annotations in the margins of books are useful cue cards again we've talked about listing definitions and rules you need to know keywords and filling in gaps to tell the whole story Another revision aid is to use a mini revision booklet creating up to 10 A4 sheets of paper using both sides to put down all of the things that you need to remember in short note form. The PowerPoint sh slide shows more detail. Mind maps are a useful way of putting the information in a diagram. Here are some simple rules to help you create and improve mind maps or spider diagrams as they're also known. Key symbols, colours, cross linkages which means basically drawing lines between things. Use thicker lines to make sure if it's a major link or a major idea that is joined to something else. Here's part of an example of one mind map for time management. You can see the Clarity is conveyed by the idea of the cat in detail in the beginning with an arrow showing a clearer, more simplified version. Monitoring is a good idea within mind mapping and basically 
This is shown also by today and a tick to show that it has been completed. The proviso, of course, is that you cannot just use a diagram within the exam. Mentioned earlier, the study and revision guides, obviously they're not the answer to everything, but they do assist you in your revision. Make sure you get recommendations from your teachers for the syllabus and course you are doing. Within revision it's also useful to make sure that you have got targets so you can check your progress. They are generally based on the smart, smarter targets. The next section of this slide presentation webinar relates to some of the ideas that teachers may use in terms of revision techniques. First of all, this is a board construction game. This one was to do with genetics and there are two ideas that came forward which we used successfully. The PowerPoint um, presentation that is included here has several links which you will be able to access. Crosswords, there is a crossword puzzle maker and also a pre-prepared crosswords for example creative chemistry. I'm looking for this webinar to be a source for all teachers to access and please feel free to add any comments and useful websites you have used in the in the attached blog. A useful source of flashcards is uh, found at this site for science. A useful bingo site for science is found at this site and weakest link grid. If you click on this link here there is a format for the weakest link game. If like me you are uncertain of the rules the following slide shows these. There are links also to blockbusters here. Again the rules follow. Additionally boggle and again the grid details are following together with rules on the subsequent slides.